Hey guys, Rob from the Optic Tiny House on a brutally muggy day. Got the AC on in the tiny house, but we're outside. Got the turbine down via the help of my dad. And he's off running to look for Allen wrenches because I can't find the wind turbine one at this moment. But uh, yeah, so other than being an extremely humid and hot day, we have overcast, which is good and no wind. So it was perfect day to take this guy down. Wasn't too bad, the worst part is over. So what I'm trying to do now is possibly pop the cap of the turbine off so we get access to the um, Allen key spots for the turbine blades. And we wanna pop this top if we can so we can take the friggin' uh, cap off here without much of a hassle, hopefully. That's uh, easier said than done, I think. There's that. That end's popped. Almost need a two-handed deal for this. Okay, I got two ends. Get this third end would be beautiful. Oh, one end pop back in. Of course. Well, I guess I gotta wait for my dad apparently. But uh is what it is. Nose cap is off. Put him up to the side here. And then we can pull the blades. Oh this is the this is for the blades. This Allen key here. But it won't do the rep won't do the uh, base onto the pole. Is kind of silly. I think they'd make it all one size, but nope.
rubber washers, last blades off. out of here without uh, damaging the head. guys, Rob from the Off Grid Tiny House. As you can see, wind turbine is gonzo. So uh, I got it in my dad's trailer actually for storage because it worked a lot easier to put into his than mine. <gasps> There's the cell phone, hold on. Alrighty guys, so turbine is gone. Sorry about that phone call there. Um, I just rocker guarded the screw holes uh, that had the mounting brackets of the um, turbine and this wood is I guess I'm just gonna leave that on there that was just to kind of hold the hold uh, the end piece of the turbine I may take that off later though um, probably will because it's just gonna rot on the side there but anyways uh, yeah I got to get to work uh, this is just early morning here um, running around in between jobs if I have a little moment to spare I will uh, come and do some work on the tiny house. So the other thing, uh, the cabling's gone. I want to show you guys what I did though. Here, um, remember the uh, issue of the busted pipe or the goofy fitting? What I did was I took one of my strainers inside the tiny house and I'm gonna use this as a pre-filter to capture all the big stuff. And then I can simply empty it out um, easily. It's got a handle and everything. Uh, so let me walk under here. I'll sh maybe get a view of the handle. Maybe. There she is. So handle, it's not going to fall through or anything or fall out of there because it's pretty, it's like a pressure fit right now. So I now have a pre-filter which will take out any nasty big stuff from the rain gutter system and I can just empty it out here. The only b bad thing is I gotta set a ladder up to do so. Set a ladder up, flip it, flip it over the edge, flip it upside down off the side, put it back. But that'll stop any of the big stuff from infiltrating <clears throat> my filter system and uh, uh, the stores are gonna be opening up here Friday so I should be Good to go after maybe i'm not gonna go that weekend because it's gonna be an absolute zoo but i gotta get to the hardware store get a wish list made up for removing the first flush system and adding my new setup and i will be doing that because it's gonna be sweet i'll be capturing basically every drop of water from here on out instead of having the first flush just flush out the majority of the water so um and with this filter as ghetto as it looks, it's going to stop any big stuff from entering my kind of finer filter that I'll be putting in and stop stuff from really messing up. So, gotta love that. <laughs> 